water. Huh? It's hot? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Woo! Claude, I'm mercy. It's pretty hot. Jesus. Ooh. You live? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Why are you showing my hands? So the people can see that you wash your hands. Oh, yeah. about to do smooth. Well, I'm about to cook. Just show them the ingredients for me. You gotta say something, don't just stand there. Hold on, I'm getting the vegetables. Oh, okay, okay. Ingredients. A uh, frozen vegetables. Frozen California blend. We have onions and bell pepper. We have white mushrooms. <clears throat> y'all, if y'all listening, we have a show, a food and taste review show called Jet Eats, and we will be filming this weekend in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. It is University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff's homecoming this weekend, and we will be filming, honoring our HBCU. Who are you rooting for? <laughs> Hey, so y'all come on out. We're gonna be filming all the food trucks and all the turkey legs and tailgating and you know all that stuff. So y'all come well, on out. If you got a food truck, hit us up. Yeah, if you got a food truck, hit us up. We'll come and do a review for you. Free po promo. Free promo. You can't beat that. And the other thing we're having with our stir fry is this yellow rice. Y'all, if y'all have never eaten this. Please try it. I ain't, cook, I ain't cooking the rice. What are you pushing on me for? Put the camera on me. I, I want to be seen now. Oh, you What's up, everybody? Seen? Who said country boys can't cook stir fry? We got to tell. Turn it around so they can see. Olive oil. So it's on? And uh, Brooks is ain't paying me, but this 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 is just what I'm using. They can't pay me though. What's up? Look, garlic, wine, vinegar. You see that? And the simples, the seasons are very simple now. Look, body of this is complete seasoning. It goes on everything. Man, when I tell you it's fire. On everything. Eggs, Man, meat, eggs. vegetables, salads, Bruh, soups. While we talking about that, I'm gonna go ahead everything. and start. Heat my uh my olive oil up, but when I tell you that body will go on everything, y'all. By the way, this is a uh, it's just a simple electric skillet. You know what I mean? So it has well, I got garlic it. and onion powder yeah. and Man, oregano it's, and salt. It's the and truth. And it got a little bit of salt because you know people who battling high blood pressure and stuff. You it's really good. Salt. So yeah, you it's, see, it's low I don't here. have any salt out here because I don't need to deal with it either. And this is my best friend. Old Y'all only thought Old Bay was used for seafood, bro. I put it on burgers, chicken, fish, fish. Shrimp, it's hard. I'm telling everything. you, it was hard. So we got these simple ingredients right here, what you just seen, and I'm about to make this stir fry. So. Well, my folks, did, you know you wash the meat, so it's already washed. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and give it. Wasting chicken. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna go ahead and give it another one okay. over. One of them to think. Now let's throw it away in a minute. So first, we're gonna do the chicken, y'all, because you know the chicken gonna take the longest to cook. Those were whole chicken breasts. Yeah, cut up. My sous chef cut them up for me. Okay. Get a towel out of there. All right. I'm gonna let this drain. I'm gonna let this drain while the uh, I'm gonna turn my fire up a little bit more. It was just on 200. I'm gonna operate it about about 300. You do not want your fire too high because if you do, the chicken gonna get tough, and it's it's all about timing with this. Here. You know what I'm saying? It's all about timing with the chicken. 
and then your vegetables got to go in at a certain time, and your shrimp got to go in at a certain time. Okay, so this drain pretty good. You know, throw it in there like that. Mm, right. Now, this is olive oil. This is not vegetable oil. You know, it's an olive oil blend, but you know, vegetable oil has fat in it. And I don't, clearly, I don't need no more fat in nothing. So, for people who think you can't eat healthy, I'm turning the fire down a little bit. People who think you can't eat healthy and eat good and it be delicious, I'm going to tell you one thing, two things. It's delicious. And it's faster to they cook. They want to know what you're cooking. Tell them again I'm what you're cooking. I'm cooking shrimp and chicken stir fry. So, now, like I, for those of y'all who just, just tuning in, these are whole chicken breasts that were diced up, cubed up, and they go in first in the olive oil blend. And you let the skillet, it says light tasting olive oil. And I also took my eggs in this. My wife took my eggs. For breakfast in there. Okay, while that chicken's cooking, you want to go ahead and add the seasoning. I'm going to start with the body. You can use as much of this stuff as you like because it's not salty. It's really low salt. But it's very, it tastes so good. I'm telling y'all, it tastes so good. Now I'm going to come behind it with the old bay. And that's low salt as well. Oh, yeah. If it, it has it. It's vicious. It's vicious. So that's what I'm going to I'm gonna stir it up while I'm cooking it, you know what I'm saying? Steve Fry says, how are you doing today, bro? What's going on, brother? You know? I'm trying to let y'all in on a little something, something. I can be funny, but you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I want to show y'all how I cook sometimes. Baby don't cook all the time. I do some cooking too. Don't I, baby? Yes, you do. And I love it. <laughs> if y'all look at back, back at some of the old videos, like from last year, Y'all can tell I lost a little weight. This is part of that. Eat Stir like fry. this. Last year I had this. Cutting out the salt. I had this barrel belly. Cutting out the salt. I just got a belly. <clears throat> very know. little butter. I don't, we only use butter if it's Man, very little. Really have very to. Very weak. Okay, look. This is the vinegar. And this is the soy sauce, right? We usually have sherry, but... The sherry is really to cut the taste of the soy sauce because so y'all know how soy sauce can get. Salty. It can be salty. I don't use much of that. I don't use much because I have to add it as I go on with my dish. So, like I tell y'all, timing is everything. You don't let the chicken get all the way done. Steve Fry said it's you. awesome. Funny and serious. It's a good mix, brother. Appreciate it, man. Tanisha said, oh shit, big guy cooking it up. You know it. Tori Avery, I'm enjoying this. I'm glad y'all enjoying it. Y'all make sure y'all share for me. Keep it up. He says keep it up. Y'all make sure y'all share for me. Now y'all see the chicken is getting to to almost done point. You hold this stuff. Huh? I can't go share with them. No, I, I, I was talking to my my family. Share it, you know. Now the chicken is getting to almost done point. So clearly, you want to throw in your frozen vegetables. Yeah, nice. What's in the sink? Oh, I got one. It's just a California blend. Simple. Cost you about what, $2 a uh, store? A dollar. California blend. Okay, just dump that in there. And I think it's very important to hit that as soon as it get in there with that season. So, because you want the season to cook in there. All right? The raw vegetables won't go in just yet. They cook fast. You want to keep those crunchy. Firm, yeah. Yeah, you want to, you know. You don't like soggy vegetables. You don't like, you don't want no soggy vegetables in your uh, stir fry. Y'all know you don't want nothing mm. soft. They're supposed to be hard. They look good already. Well, yeah. Tell them how it smells, baby. It smells Delicious. Wonderful. It smells so good. Now, you're going to hit it with a little vinegar. Not much vinegar. Sure said it looks great. Go back to old face. So you can't see the vinegar. You can smell that vinegar. So it's gonna have to calm down. That's why you don't put much vinegar. 
Because y'all know, you do not want that vinegar overtaking your meal. You might as well throw it in the trash. So that's pretty much all the vinegar I'm gonna use. So we're gonna let that cook for a minute. Will you give me a skillet uh, out of the oven so I can cook the rice in? So you can put it on. Girl, you know I'm not feeling I'm gonna uh, tell you what to do. No, baby. I'm you not just, I just no. need. <laughs> no, Lord. <laughs> I'm not fooling with it. Now, let me tell y'all something. You can live anywhere, but you can live like when a mansion. It don't take much to, to, to treat yourself and your spouse to a nice meal. Now, most of y'all will go out and spend $30, $40 for somebody else to do this. But when you can do it at home. Oh, they go to a nasty Chinese restaurant. And listen, y'all, it's all bonding. Like when you cook with your spouse, you bonding all in one. So you can't lose. You're getting a delicious meal, and you're doing something And different. he cleans, y'all. Y'all see that? Oh, yeah, I, I, I won. Can't. <laughs> I, can't. I won. I want to clean. Big mama the teacher like that. Bake says they do that now. It's a bonding thing. It's fun. Most of y'all guys will realize if you try it, that you actually like to cook. Yeah. You would like to cook. It's fun. And guys that work with their hands, I've been playing drums for what, about 24 years? So, I like to work with my hands. So, cooking is like working with your hands. Like I said, if you don't want to mess up a skillet, get you one of these non-stick skillets right here. Right now, it's on low heat. It's not that high of heat. I moved it back down to like 250, y'all. Now, usually when you think of rice, you think of uh, you think of a uh, 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 pot, right? But this rice, how, how you cook this rice, baby? Um, you can it in a pot, but is it actually are you actually steaming it? Now, uh, excuse me, as y'all can see, my uh, frozen vegetables have thawed out. Now it's time to add the fresh vegetables. Yes. Now, this, this is what you use in the bowl. I'm going to only use a teaspoon. Oh yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Arbor, congratulations on y'all marriage, man. I saw that. That's beautiful. Congratulations. Now, we're going to use a spoon for that butter. Let me have that knife. You want the knife? Okay, hold on. That's a knife. That's how you hand somebody a knife. You do not hand it with the point facing the person. You stab them. Common sense, but everybody ain't got common sense. As we know. All right, now, this is raw bell pepper and onion. Drop that in there. And all of this stuff has been pre-washed. Pre it's important to wash the food, people. And that's raw, white raw mushroom. white mushroom. Okay, get this for me. All right, so, then now we gotta come back with some, a little more olive oil, okay? Because it has, it is cooked down in the, with the chicken. Again, seasoning, bam. Hit it with the seasoning. You can never use too much of this. You can, but you gotta go like out of control. Yeah, like half a bottle. Okay, that's the old bag. All right. What about this? Hit it with some soy sauce. Now, I know everybody was wondering about the shrimp. As we all know, shrimp cook fast. You don't want no tough shrimp. Now this is let me show y'all the blend and just how pretty this is when you finally mix it up. When you mix it up and get everything showed, you see all of the greeny, greenery. I'm trying to use big words like I'm on a cooking show because I am. How about it? Okay. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all like this and y'all like to see me cook and talk to y'all because I like, I love the engagement we get. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be me regardless of whatever I do. You know what I'm saying? So we can do this once a week, you know what I mean? One day Santa can cook some soul food and show y'all what's up. So this. And I can I can show you healthier ways to cook soul food. Right, right. Everything you don't have to use all that to salt time. and oil and all that stuff. But you it's something what you want. It's some secret 
We just can't give you. Yeah, something. We just can't yeah. give you all the secrets now. So when it's still fried, I want my people to start eating more healthy. Lower the cholesterol, lower the blood pressure, y'all. So y'all let me James, know. we can cook just about anything. Um, to be honest, Smooth is kind of the healthier cook. He does more of stir fries and, you know, healthier options. Um, okay. I'm more of the soul food cook. So, together right. we can cook just about anything. So, we gave another rent. Okay, now look, these are peeled and de-banged shrimp. And we pulled the tail off. And we pulled off the tail. Peeled and de-banged, remember that. Y'all don't want to know what the bane is. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all what God loves. They do want to know because they got one. Okay, you got a vein too and you use the bathroom with it. So, when you get your shrimp, make sure they are peeled and de-banged. Or peeling and de-banging yourself. Or if, that, if you want to go that route, then it's going to be, you know, you're going to mess the shrimp up. Well, and unless you know what you're doing, you're going to tie those shrimp up. Because you have to know what you're doing. Now, okay, now that we got this going, we got our shrimp in. We got them seasoned. We're going give to give it a stir for about a minute while the rice is, water is getting ready. Okay, I'm gonna get the shrimp towards the bottom so it can cook. Where's our top? Okay. Now, at this point, I'm gonna cover it up because I want everything to steam now. Look at that chicken. Now you see how that chicken's turning out? Because we put it in, when we started cooking everything else, we get the chicken at the halfway point, right? Dang. Bell <laughs> pepper. All right. So now that I got that stirred all up, Hit it with a little soy sauce again for your shrimp. That's why with this soy sauce, I did it little by little with everything I added, y'all. We don't just bam that soy sauce in there. And just shake it on because you just it. need a little. Just shake it. Tell you just shake it. A little more seasoning for the palate. This stuff is fine. Body. Hit me up. Hit us up. Hit us up, body. This stuff is fine. I'm telling you. Get your boy endorsement. I've seen a new one today, a tropical version. Tropical. And a citrus version. Citrus. Okay, that sounds like something that we need to put on some fish. Y'all see those shrimp getting color? The shrimp getting color in them now. That's why it's the last thing to go, because they cook the fastest. They cook the fastest. Okay, now. We need a new stove. Miss Joyner, we sure would appreciate it if you donate us one. Thanks. Who bought a stove for an apartment? I don't know. Somebody on her niece of Joyner, she wants us to have a new stove, so. Okay. You can sure buy us one. We accept all donations. Just send us the money for one. We're going to steal you the same one. So we're going to let this simmer for a while. You know what I'm saying? Did you turn so, it down, baby? Yeah. I turned it. No, I didn't turn it down. I'm lying. I'm out here. So, uh, you know, inquire minds want to know what the stove, what the stove thing, what she mean? I, I don't know. You have to ask her. Uh, Nisa Joyner, what do you, can you elaborate on what you what mean you, by we need a new put stove? Camera on me. She elaborated yet? No. She okay, so let, let me get a couple of things out the way since we're here. Since I got y'all here. Uh, I just smooth Baron is my name for those of y'all who don't know me. I do comedy videos, you know. I be inspirational sometimes, but people don't. Everybody ain't born in a mansion, okay? Everybody ain't got money, and most of the people who trolling and talking about this and that ain't got it. I'll tell you one thing: when I pay my rent on the forest, or their apartment isn't clean. <clears throat> how about it? If we get this old stove clean and this something cooked. But you know, it's neither here nor there. But if y'all don't follow my page, follow my page, Isaac Smooth Baron. I love to have you. Put me on C first so you can see everything your boy do, man. I love to have fun, yes. And I'm trying to, uh, my goal is to be a successful actor. Acting is my thing, it's my dream. I've been working at this for uh, four years now. None stop. None stop. And when I tell you it, it's a headache 
and it's a joy all in one because I'm constantly trying to improve myself. I'm constantly trying to learn and I'm constantly trying to get people to, you know, take a look and see, see yes, if you like it. Yes, ma'am, Miss Victoria, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Thank what you. she say? Victoria Miles, she said, that's it. She's loving it. That's it. Yeah, so follow my page. And for my followers that's on here that already follow me, y'all miss a whole lot of stuff because y'all don't put... Yes. See first. You have to yes, see Angela, Miss Carol, we are making rice. We see. are using this Mahatma yellow rice. If you've never tried this yellow rice, please try it, especially with a stir fry or something like that. It is awesome. Yes. It is seasoned with saffron, so it's awesome. So, um, Mahatma, give us a call. <laughs> we love pairing with brands. Samuel Hannah said your videos are awesome. Thank baby. you so much, and I hope you share them because sharing is what. Oh, sharing. Tamara Danielle, we love you too, cuz. Who? Tamara Danielle, she said, I love hey, you. Cousin. Know why. Hey. Thanks, Miss Miles. Today. He is whoo, we, a actually, piece of work. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't believe this, but I'm actually very quiet in person when I want to be. He's a piece of work. Now, at this point, you don't need to add any more olive oil because the juices from the vegetable sweating and from the uh, the shrimp and the chicken are at the bottom. And if you look, you'll see all that seasoning down there. Look at that seasoning. And I'm, I'm going to tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all the truth. This stuff, stuff like this, when you cook it, it's very good, fresh. But I'm telling you, the next day... After setting this seasoning, it's delicious. Look in the refrigerator and can you show them what is the key to top it off? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Okay, so our water is boiling. Can you put this rice in? Because my hand's not clean. What is that? It's in a um, bag in there. It's in a vegetable bag. A vegetable bag? Yes. Look on the second shelf. Look, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all something. This thing right here. Lord, it's called a lie. And when I tell you one thing, if you eating, oh, next, I'm telling y'all what's going to be next. Street tacos. We doing homemade street tacos. Shannon going to be doing it, not me. We'll do beef and chicken. Dude, y'all, when you take this and you get this plated, you got it on your plate. And squeeze that lime. You squeeze that lime all over it. Oh, my goodness. Even with the street taco, I'm going to show y'all Americans. We're going to show y'all Americans, you fellow Americans, how wrong we've been eating tacos. Do I just dump it in? Yes. Because this is my first time cooking. I think she's trying to trick me, y'all, forcing me into cooking this rice. I need a fork to stir. Fork. You always stir rice with a fork. Okay, tell me something. Because it has starch in it, and you don't want it to stick together okay. and okay. be mushy. And let me not uh, scratch your paint, your Please skillet. Don't. This woman at the fool over these nonstick skillets. Can somebody send her some? Send her some nonstick skillets, please. Thank you, Mino Love. Oh, to the dead works. Uh, we we down for a cooking show. We down for a cooking show. We down for a traveling and eating show. Cause baby want to travel and eat. And I don't mind. I love to travel. I want to do more traveling. So, uh, yeah. If one of y'all got a family member that's in the network, tell them to holler at your boy. Like I said, okay, when it, sharing when is that, caring, that rice is very easy to cook. You just um, bring the water to a boil. It'll tell you to add a little butter if you want. I add a little bit. just gives it a little bit of flavor. Um, once it comes to a boil, which will be fully at a boil in just a second, you want to put a top on it and turn it down to a simmer. Yes, Tamara Daniel, that would be awesome. I would love to come to Alaska. Oh, my, Alaska? Hey, I heard a car in the eggs is $30 in Alaska. Well, she, she, Cause she, Cause y'all ain't got no chicken. She's moving there. She left today. See, I keep up with you too. She left uh, today. So I know she gone for three years. Yeah, you know, uh -huh. we watch you. <laughs> <laughs> y'all thinking we don't, y'all just looking at us. We look at y'all too. I turned the heat up on these a little bit more so my shrimp can go ahead and get done. Y'all see how the shrimp turning out? You don't want to overcook these shrimp because if you do, you got your mouth full of rubber. Yeah, I, that guarantee, be tough. I guarantee. Okay, can you have to pop the top to the, the top to the skillet? Mm -hmm. Is this? Oh. 
I gotta have the rest of the stuff off, I'm sorry. You ready? Okay, you turned the fire down on it? Yes, I turned it down to a simmer. Okay, now y'all, I'm learning this. I don't know how to do this. The rice? Yeah, you know I don't know how to cook the rice. <laughs> how the stir fry look, y'all? Cause it's, they say it looks it's awesome. Pretty Everybody much done, said it looks great, it looks good. It's done, y'all. That, that's how you do it. So, we're not gonna hold y'all too much longer. She said, uh, Tamara said, she's going for a week to find a place. She'll take pics of the price of eggs and a gallon of milk when she gets yeah, there. The milk box, Please I'm, do, because I, I would like to know. Ten, look, uh, a half pound of ground beef with uh, $10? They ain't got no cows. They got elk, elk beef up there. So is Anchorage one of those places? That, do they really have the six days of, I mean, six months of night and the six months of day? Show them the rice, baby. The rice is simmering. Man, let me tell y'all about our play that's coming back around. It's called My Father's House. Let me just cover this up because I'm about to touch something up. My Father's House. And it's starring Reverend Rex. Stay the camera right there. Don't tell anybody no business now. Oh, okay. Northern Alaska. Okay. I'm just sorry, y'all. Folks on the wall. I'm trying to wait for him to come back. Bam! Shirts for sale, baby. Reverend Rex. Y'all know who Reverend Rex is, don't you? These shirts are for sale. For $25, I'll even ship it to you. <laughs> I wish I could. I would Tamar, send you some FedEx. Tamara, there go your shirt now. I know you want one. She said she's going to blog about her adventure up there to do uh, Alaska. Please do, do it. it. Do it. I want to see it. She said she loves Reverend Rex. So they go to the t-shirt. The play is coming back February of next year. We was going to. We got some awesome talent. Man, we got, wow. We got Marquita. She can sing and pff, blow you out of the wall. Tear the roof off. Look on the page. Look on my page. You will see her at her audition. That is real. Raw. It's not fake. When that woman up there and I said, okay, that was go her ahead first and sing. Take. That was her. Mm -hmm. First time singing that song. She make you feel like you got, man, you know how you grow used to walk around, around the house like this, dragging her feet. That's how the girl sang. We have uh, Jamal Gordon, who's the owner and operator of... The, the Leaf the Cigar Leaf. Lounge. The Leaf Cigar Lounge. Jamal Gordon. Y'all look up The Leaf in Palm Bluff, Arkansas. Um, I think he ships out cigars, too. So for all you cigar connoisseurs, hit up Jamal Gordon at The Leaf. We have Miss Edith Epperson. She's a an awesome cosmetologist and an Look, educator. This woman can do stuff with natural hair. With any hair. But I'm, my thing is, I see women Everybody all the time. Everybody can't do natural hair. Yeah, I see women all the time talking about how they can't tame their natural hair. This lady can tame natural hair. Man, awesome. Who else we got? Um, we have Mo Better. He's a, a rapper. Yeah, and he's singer, a hip hop a artist, a writer, producer. Awesome young man, awesome talent. Who else we got? We have uh, Mahalia Etherly. We have another cosmetologist. And she awesome can, uh, makeup artist. What, what y'all say? Beat the face to the gods. That girl can beat your face up like uh, Tyson in his prime. You hear me? And we have Branche Barron. My crazy little brother. <laughs> he ignorant. And we have Joseph Smith. Fresh face. He didn't know that he was going to get into actor. acting. He and didn't know he was going to get into acting. But we coerced him into it. And he's Y'all awesome. gotta realize this. My dream is to achieve my goal, but also to help others achieve theirs. You did. I'm not just doing this for myself. I'm doing this for people in this small town, Pine Bluff, that think they can have no way out to achieve their dream. Now, a lot of people leave. Everybody say that you gotta leave Arkansas, you gotta leave Pine Bluff to be successful. We're about to choose, we're about to uh show them different. We're gonna blow Pine Bluff up because it's already started. You pay attention, but I just move bear and follow the page. Hit see first. One more look at the food. It is now almost done. My shrimp are still cooking. The rice is on boil. Y'all come back and holler at us. Uh, look out this home for this homecoming uh, video. When we're gonna have Jet Eats, we have on the Reverend Rat shirts. 
But anyway, y'all share this video. We'll be tailgating. We'll be hitting all, most all the food trucks we can. Yes. Block parties, everything. It's going Watch out for the video. It's I going will down. be live at certain points of the weekend. So look for me. See first. I love y'all. Holla at your boy. Good night.